Hey there, Tilted Barners. Well, today we got a couple things going. We're uh, picking up some round bales, and I wanted to show you guys a field that we're going to be turning into hay. So let's go see what this is all about. So this field right here is a field that um, was, wasn't planted into hay or alfalfa or grass hay or anything like that. This is just strictly, um, I think it used to be a pasture and so we're in here cleaning it up and it's really not the best hay and let me get down here and I'll show you why. So down here you can see a lot of the stocky stuff. Um, you know, there was a, a lot of really heavy stocky stuff. There's a lot of grass, but the stocky stuff, this had been to left, uh, left to go fallow for so long that the, the grasses were kind of getting choked out. And so the first step that we have to do is we have to come in here and we have to get this all mowed down and get everything off and cleaned up so that the, uh, so that the grasses get a chance to come through. And if you look out over here, you can see, <clears throat> hopefully the camera picks it up, but you can see the grasses are already green and starting to come through. And so our goal is that these grasses start to choke out some of those stocky, noxious weeds. So it's, it's not the best feed for our cattle. They'll pick through it. They know what's good. And so they'll kind of pick through it. Um, it'll be good winter forage for, for the cows and the bulls. Um, we'll leave some of the higher quality stuff for our feeder, um, feeder calves and for the ones that are going to go into butcher. So um, this is the story of what this field is. Um, I'd like to do a follow-up video on here, maybe for second cutting or even next year, to show just... Um, how the improvement has been made. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get the tractor and start picking up some of these bales.
Well, that's how we load it. Now let's get it strapped down and ready to hit the road. So this is what I was talking about with the quality. Um, you can see in here, you know, it's it's all mostly grass. Um, probably 70, 80, well, probably more than that. Probably, probably 80 to 90 percent grass. But you've got these sticks in there, um, you know, and that's the stuff that I was talking about where you could see the stalks sitting in the field yet. So this is the stuff that the cattle will, they'll just pick around it. And when I move the round bale feeders, there will be a pile of stalks there. And really we just kind of let the cattle beat them into the ground. So here's a, I'm not sure what kind of grass this is. The guy, Michigan hay sales, what kind of grass is that? And all you people, uh, there's a great channel out there. Hit Michigan Hay Sales up on YouTube. Um, he is very knowledgeable when it comes to the grasses and stuff that are out there. So chime in and let me know what this is. So this is tied down enough to get us out of the field and up to the road. Uh, right before we get out on the road, I'll do another check because as it, it's hay, I mean, it's going to shift around quite a bit up there. And so I always do another strapped strap check uh, before I hit the road because even if you move these things 20 feet, they shift and uh, the straps loosen up. So let's get it out of the field and uh, let's get it up up to the road Well, we made it out and uh, we're heading out towards the road and I already stopped and <clears throat> checked all the straps and uh, got a few more clicks on the ratchet straps. So just like I thought, you know, they shift around a little bit. That was a pretty good test heading out of that field. It's pretty rough. So we're good to go. We're going to hit the road, get these home, and then show you how we unload a trailer without a tractor. It sucks. Well, we made it back. And the whole load's still here. So, we'll get everything unloaded. And you can see over here, I've got some more behind me that uh, I picked up earlier. So, really, there's nothing fancy, no good way to say, explain how to get it off other than it's just gotta be pushed. So, Let's get after it.
All right, well, that's where we'll let them sit for now until I get the tractor back. So in the meantime, I'll just keep shuttling loads back and forth. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, whew, I'm out of breath. So before I forget, um, I had sent out a teaser probably four to six months ago about a big project that we're going to be starting up. And uh, I just want to let you know, keep watching. It's coming. Um, hopefully in the next two weeks we'll be able to let you know and show you what's going on and what, uh, what's the next big thing for Tilted Barn. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.